Cedarburg, Wisconsin. You think of the charming downtown stretch and historical landmarks? Well, this episode of Community Quest is covering Kaler's Mill, a very special episode because this is a piece of history. Back in around 1847, this property over here was purchased by J.H. Kaler, who turned it into a sawmill. You'll see that although the majority of the lots have already been constructed on the two to five acre sized lots, the old original sawmill blacksmith building and the storefront as well are still standing. And the storefront itself has actually now been converted into a single family home right on the creek. To get into this neighborhood, you will be looking at spending right around mm, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars for the base level homes that are on again that two to five acre lot size and don't really have any water frontage. You'll see the ones that are right on the creek are very, very special. And of course, if you fall in love with any of these properties, you can reach out to us in our business email below or schedule an appointment to talk to one of us on our calendars for me or one of my affiliated agents that cover the entire state of Wisconsin, or two, the live link, which will take you to our custom website that we've created for you already that covers every single property if anything ever pops up for sale in this neighborhood it'll be live refresh so you'll see absolutely everything that's currently available for sale in here very few homes means very small likelihood that will actually have anything on the list when you click the link so again like i said if you do really love something reach out to us so that we can personally and proactively literally either knock on doors or reach out to the sellers or the owners themselves to see if they're willing to potentially part with their beautiful home and sell it to you so before we get started make sure to leave a like below subscribe to our channel and ring our notification doorbell so you don't miss any of our future videos and episodes of Community Quest. And with that, let's dive into Kaler's Mill.
So how much are the homes here in Kaler's Mill? Well, we can take a look over at our MLS statistics. So taking a look at the screen, we can see that the low to high range is 600,000 to 865. Now, there's a lot of variables to go into that, right? We can see that all these listings were all sold in 2021 and 2020. So us being in 2024 now, currently, and going forward into the future, obviously taking consideration inflation and other types of key market factors if you're in a buyer or seller's market for how much these properties would be selling for if you're looking to list your home right now. Or of course, if you're a buyer trying to get into this neighborhood or even trying to build in one of those last remaining lots here in the subdivision. So like we know, this is in the town of Cedarburg, some nice open spacious lots that are about anywhere from one and a half to three acres large and we'll go into the map view in a second and show you there are some properties that are actually right on cedar creek itself which is a really really beautiful site so again 600 to 865 we can also see this is the newest out of all of the options properties being built in 2016 and resold in 2020 so that was only four years old and we want to keep in mind too that this one here was a one-party listing and i believe this one as well was also a one-party listing meaning that it wasn't actively publicly marketed it was brought together either by one agent that brought a buyer and a seller off market together meeting in the minds or two just different agents came together and said yep um, we have a good fit and we don't even want or need to publicly market the properties so with that being said we know that these being off market sometimes they can actually sell for uh, a little bit less but just keep that in mind as far as when we look at all of the statistics we can see that the homes in general uh, do last a lot longer on the market when they are being publicly marketed we can see this one did sell very quickly two days on market seven days on market uh, and those were still back in 2020 but uh, these properties in the town of cedarburg with a little bit larger space uh, you have a lower buyer pool for these homes rather than the little bit more condensed neighborhoods in the city of Cedarburg. So if this is something that you're looking for, it might be a nice potential fit for you as well in the subdivision. You can tell with already two of these being one party listings, if you want to get in to one of these neighborhoods, especially with these ones in the nice scenic, chill, relaxed areas of the town of Cedarburg, you can reach out to myself or one of our affiliated agents to knock on the doors for you and just get to know the sellers or we might actually know some of the sellers that are already living there. So we can connect you with them to see if it might be a good fit um, so that like when we're driving through that neighborhood tour that you saw uh, there's one particular like oh my gosh I love it I have to have it the historic one that's there I want to get in the history of Cedarburg live in the old sawmill shop that is now the single family home there the historic property like late 1800s home feel free to reach out and let us know because we'll go and track down those owners and see if they're open to selling to you Okay, other stats on the properties, we can see the majority of them are four or five bedroom homes. They have around two baths on the low end and five full baths on the high end, majority having some sort of like, a, you know, powder room, half bath. And again, like I mentioned earlier, the acreage being about one and a half to three acres total. It says here that none of them have water frontage. However, when we look on the map view, we do see that this property right here did have some frontage over onto the creek. So we'll see that in just a little bit. Total garage spaces, we can see anywhere from as low as three car to six and a half car garage right here. They had the detached garage in addition to the attached as well. So that's why they got to the six and a half on this property. We can see price per square foot being anywhere from as low as 144 all the way up to $270 per square foot. Now keep in mind, this is the newest build. So it's 2016 versus a 1999 home. Uh, it also doesn't have any basement square footage, which as soon as you get that lower level square footage, that's on average gonna be less expensive than your above grade. So main level and second story or third story square footage. Those are gonna be at a higher price per square foot to lower. So it tends to skew them down a tiny bit more. So just keep that in the back of your brain when you're looking at the stats and trends of either A, listing your home anywhere, on honestly, uh, or you're wanting to buy in something in this property, get you connected off market or something like that. Uh, just keep that in mind of when you think what, what might be a fair price for a home like this in this neighborhood. Now I pulled up additional information for you as well. So you can see all the little the tiny details. I also included the terms of sale. So all these look like conventional financing, except for this bottom one for 865. That was a cash transaction. These other ones all used regular conventional loans. And then we look over here, what the HOA dues are. We can see they're smattering anywhere from two hundred to 250 might be because of difference in input of what the agent put in there or it could be of course uh, if the prices went up or down for general maintenance costs that the HOA may have incurred so this but this is again the general price range of what you would expect per year for living in this subdivision so I mentioned going into the map view so you can kind of see where these homes sold and where the open lots are stuff like that this was the one I mentioned right here it's right on the creek this is such a cool community uh, I really really
really do love this one. So you can see over here, if we zoom back out, this one is already kind of in tax map wise, kind of parceled out. They don't really have development construction right now going here for this, but we can see with this being broken up, they might have that in mind for the future, might have the ability to build on these lots here in the future. So keep that in mind uh, if you're looking to build in this area and you still want some creek frontage like this might be one of your really good potential options now where we actually toured with the car right we started here on night pasture went around and right here is the lot that has the historic home as well that we used to have again the sawmill and everything that was the the shop the trader vendors shop that was on the water they have that now turned into a single family home it's really beautiful really cool property uh, you can feel free to pause the video if you wanted to look at that or take a drive through the the subdivision and then as far as empty your vacant lots you have one that is here, 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 and here, and I believe this one here is kind of non-buildable, but I'd have to double check and research that if you fell in love with this potential lot for wanting to build. So now that we know exactly how much the properties here are worth and what they sell for, and of course where they actually lie in correlation to the creek itself, now we can dive into what is unique about this neighborhood specifically, and nearby, what are the features and amenities here being in the town of Cedarburg? So what's nearby Kaler's Mill that you should really know about if you're wanting to live there or you're wanting to feature if you're looking to sell your property there? Well, let's take a look. As you know, in the state of Wisconsin, where does this actually lie? We know that Cedarburg is just north of Milwaukee, and we can kind of see here's Milwaukee coming up. We can, again, like I always say, exit over in Grafton or here in Cedarburg. This one, we'd probably take the Grafton exit, go around here. We can see the highlighted in red is the city of Cedarburg, and we are still in the town of Cedarburg for Kaler's Mill, which is right up here. Uh, and we can see the actual downtown of Cedarburg is down this direction, and we have the Cover Bridge Park that is over here. Now, I want to pull us in a little bit closer to the neighborhood itself. You can see where it lies and the really cool, fun thing that most people really like in this video. Well, first I wanna point out, we are here by the creek and going right around uh, the neighborhood itself, which is pretty cool. And when we pull up the kind of time-lapse view, we can see where the properties were at before in the neighborhood, going back and forth and back and forth. We can see where the construction's happening, right? We can see that there is a home built over here and here in the southwest edge of the community as well as right over here at the very entry of the southwest portion and at the southeast portion of the community as well are gonna be your newest construction properties in the entire neighborhood. And we also see when we flip back and forth, you can see the couple of properties that do actually have a pool in the backyard. I believe I see three currently present here. So if that's something you're interested in, town of Cedarburg is a little more common to see that than the city of Cedarburg. But again, in our area in Wisconsin in general, but especially also in Cedarburg, you don't always see that as a common things if you're looking for that you want to just kind of put in the back of your brain I'm gonna probably just gonna have to build a pool when I get there uh, or get lucky with you know kind of snooping in some people's backyards Google Earth view style just like this and uh, reaching out to them personally if you're gonna wait for something with a pool it's just gonna be a, a tough time for you so again uh, continuing to see right here this property also popped up and you can kind of see back and forth here with these lines here, we can see most likely a buildable site as they have this entry point here, which is on the creek itself. The one over here was the one we mentioned that was sold with that kind of creek frontage in the past. And this nice wooded lot that's here, when we were driving through, you can see there's, there's a really cool diversity of types of lots that are in this property, right? Cause you're gonna have this farm field that's over here and then also the wooded space. It's really nice and private dependent on what you're looking for. So if that's something that you are interested in, like we had mentioned in the past, go ahead and reach out to us. You can just reach out into our business email below to see if there's a certain one that you're interested in or schedule an appointment with me or one of my agents. Again, in that link in the description and comment below. And maybe before you do that, you can click on that other link as well. That is the custom link that goes to all of the properties in this neighborhood. I have it set up to be live refreshed so that any single time that there is a home for sale publicly on the market in this subdivision, it will show up on that link. So if nothing comes up, it says no results found, nothing's being publicly marketed. And then of course you'd want to reach us to us at that point, or you'd like something that was on that link, you can reach out to us and we can schedule a showing as soon as today to get you in the property, even doing a virtual showing. If you're over in Colorado or Texas or California or whatever you're relocating, we can literally get you in the property with a virtual tour to see if you're interested in it right now. So reach out to us, we'll make that happen. And we'll make sure that you are well taken care of. 
So is there anything that we missed in our Kaler's Mill subdivision tour? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, you can click again as a reminder in the pinned comment and at the top of the description, the two links that are present to see any of the homes that are currently available for sale. We'll make sure that you're ready for the next purchase or sale in your future. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.